my day-to-day -day life on a daily basis, so it's just so difficult and hard. Mm, fuck, you're a dirt kid. <laughs> scary fuck, scary fuck. It can't happen and you got no idea. Would you like to live in my body? Can't get you sorry, you know? Sexy cunt, get sorry, Sonsi, because I'm quite often hurting myself, so I'm something chick. I'm oh, sorry if I can't be a bit of a chronic pain in my back. Like, quite often. It's just shit. When Renee first started showing symptoms of Tourette's, she was at primary school in Westport. Not much older than her son Nico is today. Oh, wow. Well. Is that our house and all the crappy rain all over it? Yeah. The first text I'd kick my leg out and um, had this horrible neck jerk and I'd have to look at like each corner of the roof so I in my house or some before I could feel satisfied that the urge of the ticks would go. Six can't see. Um yeah, right, well, Shut up, you're a fucking slut. Fuck you bitch, fuck you cunt. Okay. Right. I wanna game I know how to play, right please. Yeah, you know, ten and a half. Sorry, sixty. Fuck, can't keep it up. So ten and a half. See, I was diagnosed with Tourette's. I went see from this normal little girl. I had to have full control of my body. Six can't. Sorry, son. And everything I'm saying to like absolutely no control, nearly. Renee's grandmother Sandy has been helping her to relieve the pressures of living with Tourette's for the past twenty years. To go. Although she lives over 200 kilometres away in Westport. Every time I come, I have to clean it out because it's something she can't do. Yeah. When she's fine, it's, she's good. She can do most things. But when she's stressed, it gets worse. Mm. 